the people out there who say it's just a little bit, it doesn't matter, or the products that we put on our skin do not impact our health, or deodorant and personal care products do not impact our breast cancer profile, this is for you. There was a 41 person study done in May of 2023 that showed persistent exposure of xenoestrogens commonly found in personal care products is carcinogenic to the human breast. So ethically, there is no way to study this by like giving people toxic chemicals, but there is a way to study this by taking a group of people, 41, which is a small sample size, but it's a really good start, and getting a list of all the personal care products they use on a daily basis. Do they contain parabens and phthalates? That's the two main um, ingredients that were being studied. And is there a reduction in breast cancer gene expression when these are removed for 28 days? They tested blood levels, breast tissue by using a fine needle aspirate by a breast surgeon, and they did urine samples. After only three days, there was a reduction in the urine for parabens and phthalates, which to me is not surprising. We've seen that with the Hermosa study already. But what was surprising is at the 28 day mark when they took that breast tissue and studied it, there was a striking reversal of cancer associated phenotypes in that breast tissue. And that to me is so encouraging that you can control something. The goal is breast cancer prevention. When we think about Breast Cancer Awareness Month, early screening and breast cancer prevention are key. And if we can do something as simple as change our personal care products, something that we are slathering on every single day, and we can improve our risk, wouldn't we want to do that? And it doesn't have to be Beauty Counter. You know I'm an advocate of Beauty Counter because of their rigorous testing and to make sure that there aren't things in the final product that might slip through with some other clean brands because they aren't doing the level of testing that Beauty Counter is doing. But just making sure you're not using products that have parabens and phthalates. Those are called xenoestrogens and they work like estrogen in our body and that can turn genes on and off. What are some common products that you could find these parabens and phthalates in? The most notable one is artificial fragrance, and it's not going to be on the label. You're not going to turn a label over and see the word phthalate. You're going to see the word fragrance, and it's hidden in there to help that fragrance stick around longer, which is so tricky. Um, you will see paraben, but you'll see it in a lot of different terms. You might see paraben, methyl paraben, so you'll just have to look for that word on there. Um, it's in shampoos, deodorants, lotions, hair care products artificial fragrance, nail polishes. So it's in a lot of products that we're using on an everyday basis, especially maybe close to our breast tissue. Up until now, it has not been conclusive that parabens and phthalates can cause breast cancer. And I'm not saying that this is conclusive either, but it's showing that there is a reduction in that carcinogenic phenotype when you cut those products out in only 28 days. If you need help finding safer products, I would recommend a few things. Use the Environmental Working Group website. They have a skin deep database where you can look up most common products. If they don't have it listed on their website, let me know and I can help you. We'll rate it for you. One's the least toxic, 10's the most toxic. I try to stay around a one or a two. The second thing is just to cut out fragrance altogether. It's this umbrella term where they can house 3,000 different potentially harmful ingredients under that one term fragrance. And we have it in our minds that things aren't clean if they don't smell a certain way. And that is just something that you'll have to work through from a mindset issue that like our clothes don't have to smell like downy fresh for a month after washing them in order to be clean. They can just be free from any odor and they're clean. And if you would like to give Beauty Counter a try, of course it would be my honor to help switch you to some safer products. We have both skincare, makeup, and body products and we have a 60 day money back guarantee. So if you don't love it, send it back in 60 days. I can help you decide exactly what color foundation you need, if you need help color matching other things like blush or lipstick. And if you don't know exactly what skincare to pick, I can help you with that too. I've been doing this for almost five years. It is such a passion of mine. It's so much more than just selling skincare and makeup for me. It's the mission to get safer products into the hands of everyone, whether that's beauty counter or otherwise that keeps me doing this work.